there is one thing that you must do every single day in order to become that highest frequency aspect of you, the one that is the powerful creator, the powerful healer, the powerful manifester. And if you don't do this one thing, you're going to find that you're repeating the same life over and over and over again, day after day after day, goes on for weeks, months, years, and decades. The reality that you are experiencing today is the result of this one thing that you have failed to do up until this point. As soon as you start to do this one thing, each and every day, your life will begin to change in miraculous ways. I experienced this over the years after I awakened, I started to realize that with our vibrational frequency continually in flux, going up, going down, responding to our external environment, creating emotional states that returned me to past aspects of myself, I realized that these emotional states, this inconsistency of my vibrational state was causing me to manifest the same types of life circumstances over and over and over again. It's like I was walking around as a past version of me. And you've heard me talk about this in many videos in the past about how our reality really is a reflection of the vibrational frequencies that we choose to entertain or align with throughout our day. Now, the key is here that those vibrational states, we're not always conscious of them. We have thoughts going on to the tune of 60,000 thoughts a day that are going out into the universe that if we're not aware of those thoughts, they are going to control or are controlling the actual reality that we are experiencing. They are manifesting the life. And if these thoughts are unconscious and you're scratching your head wondering why my life isn't changing, it's because you're not conscious enough throughout your day to be able to start to override these subconscious or unconscious thoughts that are based on limiting or limited beliefs. Okay, it's these limiting beliefs that are keeping you small and keeping your life the same as it has always been. You are literally becoming a past version of you every single day, first thing in the morning. So when you are asleep at night, consciousness is off, and it's doing work, your body is rejuvenating, your body is healing, right? Then you wake up in the morning, you land back in your body, your consciousness is focused now into this human avatar. We open our eyes, we get out of bed, we start to do things the way we've always done it. Maybe we'll hit the floor, we'll run to the bathroom, we'll brush our teeth, we'll go have some coffee, we'll grab our phone, turn on the news, whatever that looks like for you. These are patterns that you've been doing over and over and over again. So as you subconsciously go through all of these maneuvers first thing in the morning, you are returning your physical body to the state that it was in yesterday. Now, as you continue to have days like that aligned one after another after another, your life becomes a record of who you were in the past. You know, drop a comment if this resonates with you. You wake up in the morning, maybe you feel clear for a few moments, and then all of a sudden the problems that you perceived that you had yesterday start to flood your mind. It's like your mind is hitting you on the head going, wake up, we've got all this crap we got to deal with that we left yesterday. Now, you've spent your whole night away, your body's been rejuvenated, you've been healing, but your body is craving this chemical mix of, of hormones that keep you in that stressed state. So we wake up in the morning, we immediately return to the problems that we felt we had before, and we instantly become a stressed overthinking aspect of ourselves. It's like we, we pick right up where we left off, right? Sleep really meant nothing. It was not a break. It was not a shift. It was not a change. We allow ourselves unconsciously to become who we were the day before. And then we ask ourselves when we're looking at our life over the course of years and decades, why hasn't anything changed? Well, it hasn't changed because you have allowed your subconscious mind to dictate your day from the moment you awaken in the morning. Now, we, you know, we awaken, we start to become aware of our thoughts, we start to consciously try to change our subconscious thoughts by becoming aware of the programming and the limiting beliefs, and we do that throughout our day, we do the best 
that we can. And it takes a lot of energy and a lot of effort to do that because like I said, 90% of your thoughts or more are sub are, are unconscious thoughts. You're not even aware of them, right? So it takes a lot of energy and focus to become aware of what's going on in your mind. What is your mind trying to get you to feel throughout your day, right? And we tend to slip back into these patterns that are destructive, that are consistent, that our mind feels is safe, right? Because it knows it. And most of the time, these are chemicals, it's a chemical mix that makes you feel anxious, makes you feel stressed. It's like a drug, right? We crave it. It's an addiction, okay? So when we're trying to rise up out of that throughout the day, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of energy, a lot of consciousness to try to reverse that and anchor in higher frequency emotions like love and joy and gratitude appreciation, compassion, those types of things, right? And that's because first thing in the morning, we allow ourselves to slip down into the low level stuff. Okay, so the secret here is what happens first thing in the morning, as soon as you regain consciousness, as soon as you awaken in the morning and you have your wits about you, do you make a choice in that moment to become someone different? Okay, before your mind starts to flood your, your head with these thoughts and problems from yesterday, which then creates chemicals in your body, which makes you feel anxious and stressed, right? First thing in the morning, before that happens, you make a conscious choice to change how you feel. Now you could do this by focusing on something that makes you feel good. You could have a mental image, a mat, use your imagination, imagery. Maybe it's a memory of a place, of a time when you were younger that made you feel whole, that made you feel empowered, that made you feel grateful, just made you feel good, right? So you create that mental image, that mental picture, and you sit with that mental image in as much detail as you can, and you feel these elevated emotional states first thing in the morning. So now what's happening is you're not going like this when you wake up, you're, you're here, you wake up in a neutral place, and now you're elevating. So your frequency is elevating before your feet even hit the floor. Okay, so we're not digging ourselves a hole that we have to then throughout the day try to climb out of. And let's face it, you're going to get distracted throughout your day, right? You're going to have things you have to do. So you may not be aware of what's happening behind the scenes. These thoughts that your, your mind is throwing up at you throughout your day because you're too distracted, you're too busy on all the things that are happening um, in your field, in your reality that you have to take care of, right? So it takes a lot more energy and a lot more effort to become aware when your frequency is really, really low because you've let it slip first thing in the morning. So what we want to do is we want to create an environment, an emotional state, a feeling, okay, even a mix of feelings that are high frequency emotions. And we could use imagery, mental imagery. We could use imagination to do that. When you start to do this first thing in the morning every day and you start from that elevated frequency, it is so much easier and it takes a lot less energy and effort to bring yourself back up when you start to slip because you're going to leave your house. Maybe you have to drive to work. You're going to start to get in these situations where your body and your subconscious mind is going to be like, aha, that's familiar. I don't like that. Let's feel bad. Okay. You're going to feel that. You're elevated. You're going to feel yourself shift slightly. Your frequency is going to start to drop. And you have now the awareness because it takes far less energy because you were up here to start to bring that back up. You could circuit break that shift in real time. Okay. It's a lot easier to manage the little speed bumps to your frequency throughout the day than it is to try to just allow yourself to subconsciously dig a big hole in the morning and then try to climb out of that. It's nearly impossible. And what happens, you get to the end of the day, you go to sleep at night. It's like you've thrown in the towel, right? So you go to sleep at night, you're feeling all of this stress, you wake up in the morning and your body will match that frequency if you allow it to, okay? 
And by allow, I mean, you don't, you choose to not do anything. You just wake up, you let whatever happens, happens. You open your eyes and the flood of stress starts to come back. The mental imagery starts to come back. The memory of the stresses and issues from yesterday start to flood your mind. Your body literally becomes that same state that you were the day before. Can you see how this can become a pattern and create a life that is not one that you desired to have over a long period of time? Okay, so the easiest way to short circuit or circuit break these patterns is to do so first thing in the morning. Think of it as like a clean slate. You have a moment there when you open, you're just, you're, you're awake, you feel the spaciousness, you can open your eyes, you don't even need to open your eyes, and you can bring forward a mental image of something that makes you feel amazing. Gratitude, grateful, joy, compassion, love, abundance, worthiness, confidence, some sort of a situation you had in your past, a memory, or an imagined event, could even be an imagined event in the future. And you feel those emotions. In that moment, think of you're a clear slate. You are programming your body in that moment, maybe in a theta brainwave state at that point, or, or an alpha brainwave state. That trap door between the conscious and subconscious mind is open. You make a choice to fully feel these emotions represented by the memory or the image, and your body will then become it in that moment. Then you start your day from that elevated frequency from a new version of you, a higher frequency version of you. And then you monitor that all day long. When you go out and you start to experience the things that the day brings that would normally bring up stress in your life or anxiety, it's going to feel like a little speed bump. You're going to bring awareness to it. You're going to become conscious of the shift and you're going to bring it right back to that elevated emotional state using your memory or that mental image that you created. Instead of digging yourself out from a deep hole that you let your subconscious mind dig first thing in the morning because you weren't attending to what thoughts were coming up and what emotions were coming up. You just kind of let them come, right? So make a conscious choice starting tomorrow to wake up in the morning. Even today, you could create your image. Create your image, okay? Detail it out. Take a piece of paper, take a pen or pencil and write down what your image is. What elements does it have in it, okay? Is there a beautiful landscape? Is it a beautiful home? Is it on a beach somewhere? Is it on some sort of vacation? Is it something that happened to you when you were younger? Right? Write the details of this out. Then next to it, write the emotional states that this image brings forward in you. Is it worthiness, gratitude, abundance, joy, compassion? And sit and fully feel that. Even put it on your nightstand before you go to bed at night. So it's there in the morning. The first thing when you wake up in the morning, you call that image forward and you fully feel all of those emotional states as though they're there, you're there in real time, whether it's a memory or it's some imagined future. Elevate, lift your frequency. That will give you a baseline for the rest of your day. You won't have to dig yourself out of a hole. You're gonna find that your days pass with more grace, more joy, more love, and more compassion. And when you get rocked, it's so much easier to course correct. Start doing that tomorrow morning and do that every day and return to that image and those emotional states throughout the day whenever you have a free few moments. And in a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month down the road, you're going to start to see massive changes in your life. If this video resonated with you, watch this one next. Thank you so much.